hey welcome to my new youtube uh, channel uh, the free bst channel so ever since i shot yesterday's uh, video about uh, free bst switching from uh, linux uh, to the free, free bst platform i was uh, you know very much interested about the platform i have also done uh, several other tests i have also experimented with uh, you know kde desktop uh, on free bst and earlier i have installed uh, gnome and uh, and even i have done uh, various uh, trials with other uh, variants of uh, free bst that includes even free nas so i was uh, quite fascinated uh, you know with the overall platform as i said in my yesterday's video it is still uh, something a new platform for me but having said that uh, free bst has its own uh, uh, position in the open source world the reason is uh, there are a lot of companies uh, backing up uh, free bst because uh, it is lot more uh, it is as, as such the entire os uh, as i said in uh, you know uh, my previous episode uh, the uh, what you are getting essentially with the free bst is the entire you know platform and along with that the entire package contains uh, uh, the user space apps and uh, stuff like that which is not the case with linux so this is a sort of uh, disconnect i often experienced and every linux user uh, will experience with linux uh, because linux has that rich you no know, kernel and the rich underlying platform but where it lacks is the overall package there is uh, uh, you know you need to go with a specific distribution and or else a specific variant of a distribution from a third party source and then you will have the kernel from the main uh, you know uh, linux uh, team as so this is a sort of a uh, disconnect in case if there is a goof up done in the distribution it is going to affect your uh, you know system's performance in terms of your system's reliability and stuff like that so this is where exactly i face you know uh, issues with linux i am a user uh, using linux for more than uh, one and a half decades as so it's just not that uh, you know uh, i'm cribbing about something uh, 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 suddenly about linux it's just i've been using for uh, you know several years but uh, this is the disconnect i often uh, see because unlike windows uh, it's understood that linux is uh, you know uh, secure it is a lot more stable as such the kernel won't crash uh, unlike you know you get this uh, blue screen of death in windows platform but having said that you may experience several times a specific application getting crashed and uh, the main reason behind it is the overall disconnect all this uh, other open source uh, uh, you know distributions or distros uh, have to be in sync with uh, various uh, applications so they have to put and they have to also get the kernel uh, which suits for this application they have to do this integration uh, you know individually so this is where it gets this sort of an issue you get the gcc from one source you get linux kernel from one source and then you compile the kernel and then you also kind of uh, put your own magic soup and you do any bug fixes you support any additional drivers you do all those things along with that you have to pull each user space app and then you also should make sure that it is compatible with that entire you know the distribution so this is where it gets the trouble and uh, you see uh, the release cycle of ubuntu every 6 months uh, once uh, in the month of april and once in the month of october they do releases so that's why you get uh, 1404 and 14.10 uh, and then uh, the, you know recently also ubuntu have released uh, 1704 and uh, 16.10 16.04 uh, things like that so this is what they have to undergo all these things so it is not a case with the free bst because free bst is not that dynamic like linux at the same time uh, they make sure the reliability is paramount in the case of uh, free bst so if you are looking for building any network uh, appliance or a platform uh, or any server you get a very good linear performance so there is not much of unpredictability in the world of uh, free bst unlike uh, in the case of linux so this is the reason i thought uh, let me uh, uh open a new fresh youtube channel and then focus entirely about free bst and uh, in case if i cover more about linux in a specific episode and less about free bst i'm going to post it in my older channel which is the linux channel and if i can cover more about free bst and little bit here and there i pull references from linux i'm going to put that in free bst uh, channel so down the line i'm also going to publish a dedicated uh, website on uh, the free bst channel as well so that you can go there you get also this uh, download from various other sources and stuff like that so you can see i have also going to i'm going to also share some couple of interesting uh, 
articles so that in case if you are completely new to free bst you can have a look and you may also get inspired about its current role and the status of entire free bst platform so you can see here uh, there is a case where uh, you know nasa is uh, experimenting with high speed firewalls and hpc uh, equipment with free bst because this is where ideally free bst is suited because it is going to give you an extremely good platform for building network appliances and network networking uh, uh, you know devices and network uh, uh, servers you know and also cluster computing and stuff like that so it is ideally suited for hpc it is rock solid at its base at the same time it also has user space components which are you know uh, spread across the entire uh, free bst because the, as i said the operating system itself has this uh, user space components in its pool so when they do the kernel development it is already in line with respect to user space apps which is not something happens in the world of linux so kernel development happens individually and then user space app, apps happens individually and then this distribution uh, guys have to take all these ingredients and they need to make their uh, soup so this is not uh, essential uh, the core uh, thing happens in the world of FreeBSD. This is completely different and this is where it gets that sort of unified approach. You get everything in one platform and it is worked together kernel as a whole with the entire system not just individual ingredients. So hope you guys have loved watching this video and stay tuned. Furthermore, I am going to take a few episodes on uh, various uh, interesting topics on FreeBSD as well as um, now few uh, cases like how you can do uh, you know kernel customization or in any application or system customization of free bst and stuff like that just the way i cover uh, uh, system software and network uh, software development concepts in the linux channel as well so stay tuned have a nice day bye bye